To the men and women working for another emergency service now and a new documentary series which got underway on BBC Two on Wednesday night. Forensics, the real CSI, follow serious crime investigations, revealing the role forensic science plays in bringing criminals to justice. Somebody was standing there and they took a shot at the window. The glass was going to shower them, so there's a potential for them to be contaminated with glass as well. Earlier this week, we travelled to the University of Leicester, where DNA fingerprinting was invented, with a sneak preview of that episode. There, a group of forensics experts and students gathered to perform a post-mortem on the show. I tend to like thrillers and I like science, both fact and fiction. At the moment, my favourite BBC programme is Line of Duty. Um, I just really enjoy the storylines and all the forensics as well. My least favourite BBC programmes would be soaps. I'm not really a soaps kind of gal. The sort of programmes that I usually like are crime shows and baking shows. Time to put forensics, the real CSI, under the microscope. Going into a crime scene, and we call it what's called the harvest, which is getting the fingerprints, the DNA, the footwear, all of the forensic evidence, bringing it back. And if you don't get the harvest, you won't get the results. So, did our group find the documentary gripping or feel it didn't warrant further investigation? I really enjoyed forensics because it has the level of detail that you don't often find in these sorts of programmes. And there was also a great deal of realism that came through very strongly. I particularly liked that they showed the complexity of the DNA analysis, that it's not necessarily just a straightforward analysis and that you can have issues with the genetic analysis. If you swab it too heavily, you could get multiple DNA profiles from everybody that's ever come into contact with it. My favourite part of the show was the discussion around the DNA evidence discovered on the bullet casings and there was real thought into whether this evidence would hold up in court. The only thing that that's going to tell us and give us is that that person at some point touched those cartridges. It will not tell us that they shot the gun at that crime scene. I wasn't really expecting there to be a lot of gory bits. <laughs> I think it was probably necessary to understand what was going on in the case and how they were going to go about moving the body and so on. Of course we all find fictional crime series interesting and entertaining but the reality is it's good to see something that gives us a much more realistic portrayal of the situation. I absolutely will be tuning in next week to see where forensics goes with the next programmes. Not one for the faint-hearted, Forensics The Real CSI continues on Wednesday night.